Hello everyone and welcome to the Invasion of Borneo. This is Sergeant Leo and we are playing Men of War Assault Squad 2. I just got done recording this and turns out when you click off the screen while in the middle of a mission it crashes the game. So, lucky me, I get to um, re-record it. And I was almost done too. That was a great part. Anyways, uh, enough of the frustration. Uh, a little, little background on this actually. Uh, the Invasion of Borneo, uh, not your average invasion. Honestly, the Japanese landed pretty peacefully. There was no actual beach landing where the Dutch and the British were shooting them up. Um, that's kind of a little made up, but it's, uh, it's for entertaining reasons, you know? I mean, if I had done it where the Japanese were sitting out, camped out on the beach, and the Dutch were just sitting here smoking their smokes, um, it'd be pretty boring, honestly. There wouldn't be much action of the Japanese assaulting the beach wall and the Dutch just laying down the fire, gunning them down. You know, that wouldn't be cool. So, here we are. This is what we're doing. Um, a little more background info. Uh, the reason the Japanese took the um, uh, island of Borneo. I went dead there. Uh, the, the reason they took the island of Borneo was primarily for oil. Um, as you can see on this island, uh, there's a massive oil field here. And uh, a pretty nice dockyard, if you will. So, um, you know... The Japanese took it because at this point the Americans have cut them off from oil, and uh, they need they need an, another source of oil. And the Java Sea and the island of Borneo itself, all of those islands, the Philippines, Indonesia, uh, they offered quite a bit of oil to them. And quite frankly, the Japanese knew that was the only way they were going to get oil to fuel the Chinese campaign. So they invaded it. Uh, secondly, they knew after they invaded World War or World War Two, they invaded it. Uh, after they invaded Pearl Harbor, um, they were going to need something for their uh, land-based bombers to uh, land at and assist them in their naval actions and operations against Midway, um, you know, I'm trying to think, uh, the, the other island. G Guam and stuff like that. I, I, I went dead there. Um, they needed a land base, and so... Part of this invasion, there's actually three parts to this. I'm going to try and pour three, all three of them in two videos, maybe three videos if I can. Um, there, is, there is the actual the taking of the capital of Borneo. And secondly, there was two islands just off to the east of Borneo itself. Uh, one of them starts with a K, one of them starts with a C, I'm not gonna, or an S. I'm not going to pronounce them because they're just awful. I'll put them in the description or whatever. Um... But they had airfields, and the Japanese saw that as a strategic advantage to, um, you know, bomb the neighboring enemy islands and such, uh, primarily to help them invade uh, Java Sea and, and stuff like that, and take out the British as quick as possible, so that it was just a Japanese on American conflict, because they knew the Americans were going to come back with a hefty blow, and they needed just to fight the Americans. If they had the British on their west flank and the Americans on their east, they'd get pincer attacked and smashed. You know, they didn't want that. So they thought, okay, let's take out the weaker of the two here first, and then uh, we'll fight the the sleeping giant. So yeah, that's your base, that's your basic history to the invasion of Borneo. Um, the title's a little misleading. There was no, in well, there was an invasion, but it's not like your D-Day invasion, kind of like this, or the invasion of the Philippines. Well, it, it was probably more like the invasion of the Philippines actually, um, but. You know, the reason I'm doing this, there's actually two. One, for entertainment reasons, and two, because this is the only map on Men of War Assault Squad 2 that had a um, Pacific-style uh, island with oil on it. So, I was kind of forced to do this. I could have done it where the Japanese were just hanging out here and attacked that. That'd be really, really boring, actually, because it'd be about a 10-minute video. Um, so, yeah, this was my best bet to recreate something that um, is kind of vague in the history books. I did I did look it up in uh, this historical atlas of World War II. I have this giant book that has like all the maps and all the battles, everything of World War II. Uh, Japanese, Russian, German, British, American, all of them. Naval battles, everything. Um, so I did my history there. Uh, found a couple of names, looked them up, did a little more research, and um, this is what I came up with. Uh, just a quick um, stat real quick with the uh, military. The Japanese, um, they outnumbered the British and the Dutch soldiers uh, two to one. So they had, I think it was approximately like 4,000 soldiers assaulting the 
uh, 1,000 Dutch and 1,000 British. Um, so, quite frankly, uh, the, D the Dutch and the British are screwed, but their defensive positions will hold out a little bit. Uh, that's why I have them in certain places and such. Anyways, um, unfortunately, Men of War Assault Squad 2 does not have Dutch soldiers, so I did my best to recreate them. I went online, and I found... Um, that the Brit the Dutch soldier's uniform was not much different from the British. It was a dark brown, um, a green, a dark green helmet. Uh, it was kind of a mix between an American World War II GI and a German World War One helmet. It had that deep cover across the face, um, but it doesn't have the point on it. That'd be kind of weird. Um, they had their backpacks and canteens. So honestly, this was as good as I could do for the Dutch. Um, you'll have to ignore their British accents. They've been. Their, their mother was Dutch and their father was British. Um, that, that'll that explain that. That's why they have British accents and they talk British. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that's all. Uh, the, Brit the Dutch will hold the so-called first line of defense and the British will hold their their uh, their mutual aspect or uh, aspect? Property. Um, but, you know, the British are more the British care more about their oil than they do the Dutch lives, so quite frankly, uh, we'll see how it turns out. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully we don't get another crash, because I'm probably just going to scream or something. Uh, anyways, here come the Japanese soldiers. Hi, Friday, man. I'm going to use a British accent, because I, I don't know what a Dutch is. Here they come. Brace yourselves! I love the freaking ability to make a cinematic camera shot right here. Just a slow crossfade over. Like peppering the Japanese soldiers. That's awesome. So pretty much the most difficult thing about making this map was balancing. Uh, obviously. I mean, it's just infantry on infantry. Um, I didn't give the Japanese any mortars or heavy machine guns uh, just because it would have been extremely unfair and this map would probably would have been over in about six, seven minutes top. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, Japanese infantry versus uh, D Dutch and British uh, emplacements. So we'll see how it goes. I do apologize about my mouse, it's been acting up, so if you see the cursor flying over the screen, it's because I'm trying to freaking turn it. Let's go ahead and turn off so what's Okay man! That was a terrible Japanese accent. What a say Oh, he's out of range. Wow, they have a really crappy range. So, uh, the Japanese waves come in about every minute and a half, two minutes. That was the best way I could make it balanced. Uh, because, quite frankly, your first wave of assault in any invasion usually gets killed instantly. And it's usually the second and third waves that do some damage to the actual initial defense of uh, the invasion. So, yeah. Here comes the second Japanese wave. Get moving! Go, go, go! I'm a terrible voice actor. <laughs> Let's see what's back on. So, as of right now, the Japanese are taking heavy, heavy casualty on the right side. Um, there are two machine guns over there, which is a bit... Uh, not fair. Oh, machine gun went down. Lad, take his position right now. Here, I'll help you out. So you don't get killed instantly. Oh, you got it. Oh, he had to reload. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Take out the squad leader. Maybe. I guess not. Too hard to shoot, I guess. Oh, these guys are doing absolutely nothing. Get on the wall. Start helping. You're needed. Get up there and start fighting. Quit being a coward. K 
Keep firing! Reload! Shoot them! Oh wow, I hit someone. Shoot him. Hurt yourself, mate. You're gonna need it. The Japanese have made a pretty pretty good push on the right side. Machine gunner down? Yes it is. Lad, get on the machine gun now! Sir, I'm under fire! I don't care! Shoot them! Oh, the third wave's coming in. Uh oh. Got a machine gun. Hurry. Oh wow, he got gunned down. Never mind. Okay, the left side got taken up faster than the right. That's surprising. It's never happened before. Let's go ahead and call in a uh, Japanese air support. Suppressing the enemy position. As the Japanese continue to move up. Incoming! Enemy bed! Watch out! They're totally shooting him down. Wow, he stood no chance. So I feel bad for him. Not really. <laughs> oh well. So at, these, at this point, I would probably be crapping my pants, but oh my god, we're so screwed. Keep holding that man! Reload! Yeah, you should be shooting a lot faster, mate. Right? That's not cut. Yet. The job's to chop them down. There you go. Good job. Put a nade out there! Don't run out, you fool! Nob. No, throw a nade right there. Your friend just died. Throw it! Wow, they slaughtered them, didn't they? Alright, let's go ahead and call up another Japanese bird. Oh, I just... I don't know what I did there, but... Grab something that what I'm supposed to grab. Go ahead and turn that off. It's bothering me a little bit. Okay. Select the right team first. Let's go ahead and help out up here. Take out this machine gunner position if possible. Here comes a Japanese bird! Watch out! Shoot it! Shoot it down! Oh, he's going the wrong way. That's a bad idea. There's a lot of machine guns there. Oh no! Wow, those things stand like no chance. They get shot down quickly. That's unfortunate. Well, the Japanese air support's not very good. <laughs> Freaking foot soldiers are shooting down. That's not something to brag about. <laughs> Oh, he got knocked off his butt, didn't he? No, 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 no. Get on the wall. Don't hop over the wall. Get on the wall. Hold your position. Do not be a coward. Fight for your king and queen. Okay. Your men are getting killed, and you're just being a coward. Oh, you can't shoot anything. I apologize for calling you a coward. Now fight. Fight, damn you. Is the pilot alive? No, I don't think so. I think he's dead. He's so dead he disappeared. He probably got shot out of his bird or something. That's most likely thing. We've got some standing soldiers here. You're brave, and I admire that, but not in the sense that you're going to get yourself killed. I don't admire that at all. Gosh dang it. I'm in a position and hold it. 
did it. Oh. Oh wow. Get on the wall, get on the wall. Hurry, hurry. Yeah. No! That was my bad. I got him killed. Right. So now we're at the final part of this. Let me go ahead and get him to start popping some flares soon. Now I did learn something. The officer actually calls in artillery on his own. It's very small artillery fire. Holy crap, he unloaded on that position. Here he comes. Oh boy. Oh. That's a bit overkill. Let's switch weapons now. You're gonna need to. So the Japanese realize, they shouldn't have realized this because they're cheating. Get over here, cheaters. No cheating over here. No cheating at the North Pole. No singing at the North Pole, I should say. You freaking cheaters. What the heck are they shooting at over there? What it? Oh, there's a freaking... What are you doing? Oh, he's enemy. What the... F what the hell? <laughs> Somehow their own pilot was an enemy. Should be assaulting me, though, huh? Not over there. That was interesting. I guess I forgot to set the, uh, the pilots to the correct team. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Go through this thing and reload. Got a good cluster there we can bomb. Commander's still alive. The brave man calling him at artillery. Come on. It's almost reloaded. This machine gun is just ripping. Go ahead and get a perspective from the Japanese side here. Just how gruesome this is. So, throughout this entire invasion, there's been barbed wire everywhere, prohibiting the Japanese from getting a good position on assaulting the, the British and whatnot. So it kind of puts them in a bad position just to, just to begin with. But no, nonetheless, the machine guns just ripping them up and whatnot. Kind of a dead spot. Not close enough for the machine gun to start shooting. Oh, now they are. Keep assaulting! There are sound that does not want to work. He's having a heyday with them. Although the Japanese have finally broken through this side. It didn't last long. And the British assault has begun to falter. Let's go ahead and call in our remaining Air Force. Okay. Oh, wrong 
team. All three of you. I want you to come up here and start assaulting that. Assist your troops. Let's move. No need for that anymore, honestly. You know how this is going to turn out. That commander is a brave SOB. Wow, look at him. They're just, oh wow, they all collided. That's hilarious. Uh-oh. Engage him. Holy crap, we blew up everything. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Everything's exploding. Oh no. Is the commander still alive? <laughs> He's still alive. Is he? Anyways. Still got some British troops here fighting. Good for them. They're still alive somehow. Those aircraft really just... Wow. They just decimated their own oil supply. How unfortunate for them. <laughs> oh well. There's plenty more over here. They'll be fine. Anyways, let's continue watching this. Alright, welcome back everyone. Uh, the game crashed. I had to do a minor, couple minor uh, fast forwards, if you will. Uh, so now we're back. Uh, Japanese oil, or excuse me, the British oil never exploded. Uh, that was just a figure of your imagination. Um, <laughs> yeah. I thought about redoing it, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to get so frustrated during that video, it's just not going to happen. So, here you go. Here's the last part of the invasion. I apologize if you're disappointed with that. Um, this would be the third time I'd be filming this, and I was extremely frustrated, <laughs> and I don't know why it keeps crashing. I, I think it's this map. It's the only map that gives me that script error. Uh, it actually pulls up lines of code, and it's like, hey, here's a problem. I'm like, hey, I don't care. I may be a CS student, but I don't care. So, yeah. Those uh, those aircraft uh, exploding and falling down, yeah. That was definitely a figure of your imagination. It never happened. Um, yeah. So, here we go. Japanese are assaulting the British HQ. Um, British commander is very reluctant to give up his oil. Um, so, yeah. The Japanese are going to have to pry it from his cold, dead hands. Hold the line, chaps! We can't give up this oil. We didn't come here for nothing, did we? <sighs> this mouse is killing me. So this this assault's gonna get pretty intense when these second and third waves come up here. Wow, that oil can gets shot over. I wonder what in the last video actually detonated these oil things. I mean, I know the aircraft exploding in them probably did it, but I wonder if it had to do... I wonder if any of these barrels actually exploded. Uh, but if you recall, that explosion was so massive that it blew the entire backside of this building up and killed everyone inside, inside except for that uh, guy right there, I think. The British are putting up a hell of a fight. Last time I played this, I got wiped out. Then again, my game didn't crash while I was playing it, so... You know, that's that. What are you doing? Get up, you fool! Shoot! Shoot them! I love how the Japanese are actually taking cover behind the barrels and the buildings and whatnot. I find that extremely entertaining. I kind of wish the barrels would actually leave, but, you know. This game is awesome, nonetheless. Oh, God. That's a grenade. Oh, they didn't go off, surprisingly. They would. 
Wow, holy crap, they... I didn't see that. Come on, man, we can hold them. Shoot their heads off. They don't need them. Bloody fools anyways. Oh, he died. Oh god. It's getting gruesome. He's not dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> he wasn't dead then, now he's dead. Sir, it's just me and you. I understand that, Lassie. We're gonna hold this. And we're gonna die trying. Sir, you died! Oh. And that's pretty much all of it. Well, yeah, you know. We'll just, uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, that's all of it. <laughs> that's all, folks. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I do apologize about those crashes. There's really nothing I can do. Every time, I, if I click off screen while any of these guys are moving, it crashes on this map. It's a very specific map, which is extremely annoying. <laughs> extremely. So, with that being said, uh, thank you everyone for watching. This is Sergeant Leo, and uh, tune in next time for the invasion of the K field. We'll call it K field. Or the K airfield. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. I'll uh, catch you later. Bye.